For Filipino and other products from Asia as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver. Dollar Smart 99 Cents App Store, located at 4811 Easel Beach Way in Richmond. Telephone number 604-207-0072. Philippine News Canada is brought to you by Rayford Media Group. Hello mga kabayan, narito na ang pinalawak at pinalakas na coverage ng Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver Nationwide. Mga pangunahing balitang nakalap ng aming news team para sa linggong ito. Ngayong linggong ito, Holy Week na po, ako po si Rosette Correa. At ito, ang Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver. Ayan mga kabayan, kahit na sila ay busy, busy, nag-reach out po sa atin ng ilang mga community leaders natin at nagbigay sila ng mensahe para sa ating mga kababayan. Panoorin natin ang mga mensaheng ito mula kay Congen Austria ng Philippine Consulate and MP Saray para sa ating mga kababayan. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si May Ann Austria ang inyong Consul General dito sa British Columbia, Yukon at Northwest Territories. We deeply regret that we had had to temporarily suspend our on-site consular operations and the events we have organized and the events that we are invited to. As we mentioned po in our website, the safety and well-being of our kababayans is our topmost priority. It is therefore of utmost importance to us to support the actions of the health authorities to help slow the transmission of COVID-19. COVID-19 has regrettably caused so much suffering around the world and it is a very serious pandemic. Kaya po hinihikayat namin lahat ng ating kababayan na gumawa ng iba yung pag-iingat. This includes observing strict physical distancing, observing the hand washing protocol, and to the extent possible, staying home. Many Filipinos, both in the Philippines and around the world, have been severely impacted by this pandemic. Dito po sa ating jurisdiction, we continuously pray for the, our courageous frontliners, the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare workers, the caregivers, the transport providers, the service personnel, grocery workers, food service workers, at marami pa pong mga Pilipinong bayani who work tirelessly to ensure that we are able to weather this crisis and to ensure that we are safe. On behalf of the Filipino community, we honor your sacrifices and thank you for your service. You must have heard po that the Philippine government has also imposed very strong measures to uh, stem the transmission of COVID-19. In Luzon, the enhanced community quarantine has been enforced, which means government movement over Luzon remains restricted. Para pong dito, you may still go out and buy medicine, food, you may go to work if you are a frontliner, you may go to the airport if you are catching a flight. Marami po sa atin, alam ko po, may mga plano po sanang bumisita sa Manila. Alam nyo naman po, you are always welcome to visit the Philippines. Pero for now po siguro, kung maaari lang po, it may, not, it may be best to postpone any non-essential travel. For Canadian citizens currently in the Philippines who wish to return to Canada, the Philippine government is working closely with the Canadian Embassy in the Philippines 
uh, to make a special arrangements for flights that will bring them back to Canada. More information on this can be found in the social media pages of the Canadian Embassy in Manila. While we may not be physically in the consulate, please be assured that we are continuing to work on delivering consular services. If you visit our website or our social media pages, we have tried to summarize frequently asked questions on how you can avail of our services during this period. You can find there are the various channels you can reach us. Pwede pong email, pwede pong tawag, pwede rin pong sa social media. Alam niyo po, while we do not know how and when this crisis will end, I know we are drawing strength from each other, from our community, and from our faith. As Pope Francis said in his homily during the Orbi et Orbi blessing, prayer and quiet service, these are our victorious weapons. Nandito po kami para sa inyo. And we are looking forward to seeing you again, hopefully sooner rather than later. May we all have a meaningful Holy Week and a joyful Easter po. Mabuhay po tayong lahat and God bless. Salamat po. Mabuhay everyone. Uh, I just want to, my name is Randeep Sarai. I'm the member of parliament for Surrey Center. Uh, so I just want to thank you for doing your part, uh, staying home, keeping isolated uh, wherever possible, keeping your social distance uh, amongst each other. These are very important things. Uh, I also want to thank all the healthcare workers out there who have been putting their lives at risk and making sure that uh, uh, our lives are safe and uh, we're getting the adequate medical uh, services we need. And same with all the other frontline workers, uh, whether you're working in a restaurant, making sure that people get food uh, uh, for takeout and delivery, uh, whether you're in the trucking industry and delivering goods. Uh, I want to thank everyone uh, that's out there that's doing their part. I also want to give you some information uh, to tell you that the government is there beside you. Uh, we have uh, CERB benefits, which are Canada Emergency Response benefits that are starting uh, from Monday. Uh, the link is, a, uh, is also uh, uh, shareable. Uh, you can search uh, CERB benefits. Uh, uh, they'll be starting on Monday for those with a birth date of uh, a birth month of April, uh, January to uh, March. And then April, May, June will be on Tuesday. They're eligible to apply. Uh, July, August, September will be on Wednesday and October, November, December will be on Thursday. So these benefits are eligible for anyone that was laid off or let go or uh, their work is shut down due to COVID-19. Uh, that includes self-employed, includes people who don't qualify for EI in terms of the weeks, but as long as they were working just prior, includes temporary foreign workers, includes international students, uh, includes anybody over the age of 15 that was employed again, that had this let go. And it also includes people who are over 65 who are uh, working, uh, so they will also be eligible for these benefits. So we've made it in quite a broad terms. Uh, in addition, uh, we've uh, uh, helped you out uh, with uh, uh, Canada Child Benefit, which will be $300 on the next April check that you get. Per child, you'll be getting an additional $300 to help your families out a little bit. We've postponed the tax season uh, till uh, uh, September 30th, so you don't have to pay any taxes till September 30th and don't have to file them till June 1st. Uh, similarly, uh, some cities are also postponing their property taxes. You'll also be getting some additional funds from the provincial government of $1,000 for everyone that goes on EI or uh, gets the CERB benefits. Uh, in addition, any seniors will be getting some provincial benefits, $300 a month. But if they have any urgent need uh, to get their medicine, to get their groceries, um, they can dial 211 and they can access uh, an assistant who can come and help them get their groceries, get them pharmaceuticals, uh, as well as any uh, small errands around the house that they might otherwise not be able to do uh, due to COVID-19. Uh, so I want to let you know the government's here for you. Um, for those that are small employers or large employers, I want to also let you know that the, uh, we have a wage subsidy. Uh, we have a wage subsidy, uh, so if you have a payroll at least of over 50000 a year uh, and your business has had a reduction in uh, revenue of uh, 30% in the month of March 15th onwards, you're eligible to apply for wage subsidy. Details will be coming uh, later this week, uh, and therefore we will pay up to $850 uh, uh, per employee per week to the employer so they can keep the employees uh, working. Uh, as long as you have a, a safe environment to do so, and even though revenue might be down. So this will help anyone who has a franchise, small business, uh, restaurant, uh, cleaning business, uh, 
They can be in construction, plumbers, framers, electricians. Uh, it's a very broad-based uh, biz um, uh, program, and it will cover everyone. So I hope uh, this video uh, gives you some more information, and I also want to let you know that our government is procuring all necessary uh, uh, health equipment, including face masks, face shields, uh, N95 masks, we've already procured over 61 million. Uh, same with ventilators, over 1,700 with a possibility of up to 4,000 more. So uh, you should know that your government is doing a great job in uh, uh, keeping Canada safe and keeping Canada secure. And you guys are doing a great job by abiding by the rules of self-isolation uh, when necessary, as well as uh, staying home where possible, and as well as uh, uh, those that are working in the front lines to make sure that you wash your hands, keep your social distance of at least two meters, uh, uh, so that we can keep this country running in the meantime. Can't wait to get this uh, uh, this uh, disease to be over with, and hopefully we'll have a solution. But in the meantime, keep working hard. Thank you. For Filipino and other products from Asia, as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver. Dollar Smart 99 Cents App Store, located at 4811 Easel Beach Way in Richmond. Telephone number 604-207-0072. Sa gitna ng pandemic na ito at sa sudlirani ng buong mundo, meron tayong dalawang napaka-talented na musicians and composers na nag-put together ng mga 150 singers all over the world from different countries sa tinatawag nilang Project Quarantine. Ito po si Mikey and Trisha Jose, magkapatid na taga Richmond at panoorin natin ang panayam sa kanila tungkol sa naging project nila ngayong buwan na ito. Ang magkapatid na si Mikey and Trisha Jose, Phil Can, brother and sister team na lumikha ng musical na Right Here Right Now, ay nagkalap ng mga 150 singers from all over the world sa kanilang Project Quarantine. Ang project na ito ay inilunsad upang mag-raise ng funds para sa mga frontline workers ng COVID-19. Ang mga singers ay nagmula pa sa Australia, USA, Canada, and the Philippines, and other parts of the world. At ipinadala nila ang kanilang mga bahagi sa awit na When You Believe na pinasikat ni Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. Oh, yeah. There can be miracles when you Nakapanayam ng PNC Balitang Vancouver ang magkapatid na Jose upang alamin ano ang kanilang inspirasyon sa project na ito. When you believe, somehow you will. You will when you believe. So the idea of Project Quarantine came together when my sister sent me a video of people singing together on their balconies in Italy. And it was truly just a really strong testament of uh, how powerful music is in bringing people together and providing the sense of hope during these really difficult times. Um, and she came up to me and she said, why can't we try to do this in North America? Um, so we gathered our troops really quickly. We started writing emails to our really close friends who we thought would be interested. And it kind of snowballed into this big thing where uh, friends of friends wanted to join and then strangers wanted to join 
Um, and so we sent out this form for people to fill out. So over a couple of days, we were able to get about 150 submissions uh, from 27 different cities and four different countries around the world, including Canada, um, as well as the States, Australia, and the Philippines, uh, which is really, really amazing. The response has been so amazing. We've gotten over 20,000 views across YouTube and Instagram, um, and we've heard from so many people that it brought them joy, it brought them hope in this dark time. And then from others, many others who have said that they have been inspired to um, to do what they can with whatever they have uh, to help others during this during this global pandemic. really to bring community together, try and um, inspire a little bit of hope in this in this difficult time, as well as uh, pay it forward to um, everybody in the community. So that includes Food Banks Canada and BC Women's Foundation. Um, so really, really pleased with how things have gone. Good morning everyone, please stay home. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat and welcome to another edition of Mortgage Matters with Maylene. Ito po ang inyong lingkod si Maylene Lim, Licensed Mortgage Broker in BC. Pag-usapan po natin ngayon ay tukos sa Mortgage Payment Deferral Program na ginawa ng gobyerno para matulungan tayong mga mamamayan who are affected by COVID-19. Ano po ba itong Mortgage Payment Deferral? Ito po ay basically suspension of your mortgage payment. Hindi po, sus uh, hindi po cancellation, hindi rin po deletion kung hindi suspension lang. Now, the number of months na madedefer ang inyong payment is dependent on your lender kung anong ang ia-approve nila. 
meron pong ibang lender na isang buwan, merong ibang lenders na dalawang buwan, meron din ibang lenders na six months. Right now, six months po yung uh, maximum number of months ng deferral. Uh, ibang lender ay dinidiretso na lang ng six months. Ngayon, yung uh, deferment is not automatic. You have to request this from your lender. So, either you call them by phone or you go online and uh, request this. Yung phone po ay medyo mahihirapan kayo ngayon kasi sobrang daming tumatawag, no? You can be on the phone for hours, on hold for a few hours, or in some cases, hindi nga kayo makapasok. So, kung available din naman po yung online application is mas mainam na mag-online na lang kayo. You just type in your lender's name and type in as well COVID-19 that should bring you to your lender's website straight to uh, the section na uh, pwede kayo mag-apply ng deferment. Now, um, I would just like to point out na ito pong uh, deferment uh, does not come without a cost to you. There are some lenders who will put the interest portion of those deferred payments back to your outstanding principal and then they will compute the interest on those uh, dagdag sa inyong kautangan. So ngayon lalaki ang inyong monthly payment kasi nadagdagan ng interest. Ang mangyayari naman doon sa term ninyo ay madagdagan by the number of months na na-defer ang inyong payment. So kung baga nag-suspend kayo ng 6 months, yung term naman ninyo ngayon ay mag extend ng 6 months. Meron naman po ibang lender ay linalagay nila yung principal and interest back to your uh, outstanding balance, outstanding principal. And then now they will compute your new payment kasi nag, nag, mag, uh, magdadagdag ka ng interest doon sa principal at saka sa interest at saka yung original mo na principal balance. No? And then, they will not extend your number of, uh, yung term left mo. So, kung, kung baga ay meron kang dalawang taon pang natitira sa inyong term, after the six month of uh, uh, deferment, two years pa rin yung, uh, sorry, one year, six months na lang yung inyong babayaran. So, ngayon, parang ang six months na na-defer ay i-divide nila ngayon doon sa number of months na natira mo, which is a year and six months. So, for that option, ng, uh, for that kind of program ng some lenders, medyo malaki ang magiging monthly nyo. Mal mas malaki ang idadagdag. Unlike some lenders where in interest lang ang ilalagay nila and then they will extend your amortization. So, um, as I said, iba-iba po yung lender, iba-iba po yung program nila. You need to contact your lender and uh, find out kung ano yung mga terms and conditions for the deferral of your mortgage. Ngayon, kung meron na pong binigay sa inyo ang inyong lender at medyo hindi ninyo masyadong maintindihan, you can call me and we can go through your uh, terms and conditions and then I can explain it to you kung uh, ano yung application noon sa iyong magiging monthly payment. Um, ito po naman yung suspension na to is para doon sa mga nangangailangan. Kung medyo maluwang naman kayo at saka komportable kayo sa inyong mga kalagayan ngayon financially, then I suggest don't go and uh, apply for the deferment. Ngayon, if you think that in the next few months or the next six months is there is a possibility na maapektuhan yung inyong income, is you go ahead and defer. Pwede naman ninyong ibalik yung, yung uh, deferred amount or yung na-save ninyo na pera doon sa uh, principal ninyo, no? Uh, every year, you're allowed a certain amount back. Um, so, pwede naman ninyong ibalik yon kung hindi pala ninyo nagamit. But for now, is uh, if there is a possibility nga na medyo palagay ninyo ay mahihirapan kayo, then you please go ahead and defer. After all, Magkano naman ang interest noon? That's just 3% if that's what your uh, your interest rate now. That's only 3% of interest as opposed to having to use your credit card wherein, you know, you're talking about what, 19.9% or 20%. So, mas mainam na yung uh, deferment kasi at least nasa 
mga 3%, 4%, 2%, depende kung ano yung inyong uh, mortgage interest rate right now. So, yun po ang aking um, topic for today. Again, kung may kailangan kayong tulong, please reach out and I will be more than happy to assist you. For now is um, be safe, mag-ingat po tayong lagi, at saka uh, magpapir- magpupirmi sa bahay. Stay at home and be safe. Hanggang sa susunod po, take care. Ayan mga kabayan, syempre hanggang ngayon po tayo ay nasa mga tahanan natin at nagsa-self-isolate. Pero tandaan po ninyo, ngayong linggo ito ay Semana Santa or Holy Week. Marami po tayong makikita mga resources sa online na makakatulong po sa ating pagdarasal at pag-aayuno ngayong linggo ito. Kaya samahan po ninyo kaming lahat sa pagdarasal upang matapos na po ang ating uh, mga suliranin dito sa pandemic na ito. At dito na naman nagtatapos ang aming balita para sa lingong ito. Kung kayo may mga komento, mga issue o balitang nais nice niyong ibahagi sa aming programa, ang PNC ay bukas para sa inyong lahat. Mag-email lamang po sa balitangvancouver at gmail.com o tumawag sa 604-588-6397. Mula po dito sa Surrey, ako po si Rosette Korea At ito ang Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver. For Filipino and other products from Asia as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver. Dollar Smart 99 Cents App Store, located at 4811 Diesel Beach Way in Richmond. Telephone number 604-207-0072.